All right, what is up, boys and girls? Welcome back to another video. As always, thank you very much for joining me. I am Crypto Maxwellist, and today we are taking a look at Chainlink on the daily time frame. Please do like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below for Billy. Today he is looking very, very squiggly indeed. And with that being said, we'll just take a look at the daily time frame here for Chainlink. As you can see here, then we have been having a very, very nice move for Chainlink recently, haven't we? We've cleaned, I mean, this chart, by the way, just eyeballing this chart with a little bit of analysis on it, as you can see, it's looking really nice, isn't it, to be fair? If you zoom out, you can obviously see that Chainlink has had a ridiculous, it had a ridiculous time from around, you know, 2019 to around 2021, just straight through into the bull market. But then since then, we've obviously been coming down, just like every other crypto, having a decent sell-off. All-time high, around $54 there, you would say. Came down to that swing low of the bear market of around 4 just under $5. So a very, very nice correction for Chainlink indeed. You can see on the way down, we had quite a lot of volatility for Chainlink actually. But eventually, it did have this big rollover where it came down into this kind of area that I would say of structure where we've just been consolidating basically since we came down into this area at May last year. So almost two years really of just sideways consolidation, etc, etc. But you can see on this chart just by looking at it, basically what's been going on. Huge bear market. You got your first bear market resistance here inside of this area of structure. We basically came down here, formed a little bit of a range, highs and lows, test the high. We come up, we break out, we test the high, we test the bear market resistance again after breaking out of that bear market resistance. But we're still in the range, testing the low. We come down, we get the deviation of the low here, which was interesting. Everyone thought, oh no, we're going to come down and make new lows for Chainlink down here. But we actually came back inside the range again. And you can see once we've come down here, we pulled our Fibonacci a little bit lower than it was. The Fibonacci obviously is sitting somewhere around here really. But obviously pulling it a little bit lower for that new swing low of the bear market. You can see we came up, we perfectly touched our 0 02, 0 0.23 Fibonacci level at 8. Why can't I speak today? Our 0 0.23 Fibonacci level at $8.5 there. We came back down into this area of previous uh, previous support again at around anywhere from around five and a half to six dollars we bounced here so many times near the bottom of the range we come back up again and then you can see chain links had enough capital rotation from bitcoin with bitcoin starting to slow down obviously capital rotating into these larger cryptocurrencies we've seen it for cardano we've seen it obviously for chain link here on the charts we've seen it for quite a few cryptos multiverse elrond also being another one Large caps are starting to get that capital rotation from Bitcoin in this first rotation of the new Bitcoin bull market. <clears throat> and as we can see, we came up, we smashed through our first level of resistance, that 023 Fibonacci. We ran all the way up, we broke out of the overall bear market resistance, which is here. Completely smashed it. Came up, back tested both for one day, which is essentially that bear market resistance and this range high resistance as well. And then you can see we just ground our way up to the next resistance of that 0 02, that 0 038, I should say, sorry. Fibonacci level at $12 there. And then another breakout for Chainlink as it continues its bullish momentum. You can see we're breaking up above these previous levels here as well. Up to the next Fibonacci level, what do you know? At the 050, around $16. We've got a bit of a rejection here, another pump to the upside, and a current swing high in this local move of around 17.4 dollars there you can see chain link obviously having a bit of a sell-off at this resistance it is very getting very overextended right now there are bearish divergences for chain link in this area so you'd anticipate a little bit of you know stalling out at the very least or resetting of the rsi etc which is what seems to be happening looking like we're consolidating here underneath this resistance or around this 050 resistance at around 16 dollars obviously this is coinciding with this area of structure back here as well this was the previous, first previous bull market support at around $15, as you can see. Bounced all the way up to $35 before the continuation to the downside. So heading into a big area of resistance here. But chain lit looking very, very good, isn't it? In my opinion, it'll just start working the Fibonacci levels now. I'd probably anticipate a little bit of a pullback for the whole crypto market, if I'm being completely honest. And, you know, it wouldn't be so outrageous to say coming back, retesting the previous Fib level might be on the cards here back down to around $12. Obviously we're waiting for our 100-day uh, moving average to move up here as well. 
because we are very, very far away from it right now in a very bullish market structure. So it'll be interesting to see what happens next for Chainlink. A lot of these larger caps, as I said, all getting some nice moves to the upside. But I'd probably be expecting if we're moving to the downside, you know, retesting at least down towards this $13, maybe even down to around $12. And then beyond that, we could easily see ourselves having a bounce in this area to start working the fibs. That next big target, that 20-ish dollar level, big psychological target, and also that 618. So that is it for today, guys. As always, thank you very much for watching. Really, really appreciate you. Please do like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Also, go in the description, sign up to some of the partnerships that I have made for this bull market. There's loads of free crypto in there. So go sign up to some of the exchanges, make some small deposits. You'll get yourselves some nice bags for free. I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.